Hey Fairview, once again with the Word of God, we're continuing in Psalm 119, this psalm that goes on and on. Uh, but really I encourage you as we go through it, and we will be going through it for several weeks, uh, let yourself meditate on each section that we go through. Often uh, reading through huge portions of the Bible can be overwhelming, but take truths from each scripture as we go through. Uh, I encourage you to take time each week to really dig into these verses uh, and maybe find one for yourself that you can meditate on, focus in on, and let the Lord encourage you with it. But let's start with a word of prayer. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for Fairview Bible Church. I just pray that as we continue looking through your word, as we continue looking through this psalm, we recognize that it was written uh, for your glory. So as we read it, let us read it for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 119, today we're going through <clears throat> uh, verse from verse 33 through 48. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the paths of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at worth, worthless things and give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise that you may be feared. Turn away the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. And actually, it was just verse 33 through 40, so sorry about that. But uh, we still have a lot of really important truth that can be gleaned from this. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. In other parts of scripture, uh, well, in, in, in another psalm, David talks about how he's conceived in iniquity and he's born with this inclination to selfishness, to sin. The Lord loves us and he created us perfectly, but that sin disease has crept into all of us, affected each of us, and it prevents us from, from having our desires properly towards the Lord. So I want to encourage you that the Lord wants to renew us. He wants to create a, a, in us a new heart, the way it was supposed to be, not influenced uh, and, and diseased with sin, uh, but pure with intentions towards him. And as we continue through life, through the blood of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, and made conformed more and more into the image of, of God the Son, uh, there will be times where we still seek out selfish gain. But if we ask the Lord to help us to incline our hearts to him, we're going to see the trajectory of our lives shift from self-destruction to God's glory. And remember, God's glory is ultimately to our benefit because he is the one who created us. We are designed to worship him. So I just wanted to give you that quick quick encouragement today that uh, he is worthy of our praise. He will change our hearts. And remember, to have ourselves changed by him is really to be uh, who we were made to be. So with that, uh, I leave you with that encouragement. Uh, remember to take some time this week, reread this section. Uh, let the Lord speak to you through his word. And have a great Thursday, Fairview. Thanks.